All right, so continuing our series uh, for the advanced questions, oh, sorry, intermediate questions. These are the questions that I have selected. Now, the first one is, can you explain the Linux boot process? This uh, only gets asked uh, if the you are in a desktop environment where you have you will be supporting uh, servers. The Linux boot process involves several stages, BIOS, bootloader, uh, kernel and then after in it process it's shell login so from the previous one we know shell is where we uh, GUI where we interact with the Linux second question what is a symbolic link and how does it differ from a hot link yes this one uh, part of Linux plus as well uh, gets asked symbolic link is a file that points to another file so it's just like a, in Windows environment you see that um, icon on your desktop when you double click it they open a folder or go to another location that kind of thing hard link is a mirror copy of, of the original file can you explain what inodes are in Linux again this question is in Linux blocks in order in Linux contain information about a file or directory such as its owner permission or location of the data on the disk kind of a metadata uh, if you if you're familiar with what metadata is you will know what uh, it's for inodes in uh, that's what inodes is uh, for Linux how do you schedule tasks in Linux so very easy Chrome when I was uh, doing uh, way back I had a small web server uh, I had to use the Chrome that's how I know it um, in GUI uh, Ubuntu you can go to utilities and set tasks there just like Windows but from the command uh, from the terminal or on a web server where you want a specific uh, task to um, run every once now while um, you use Chrome what I was doing is I, was, I had a list of feeds and I was using Chrome to go and check those feeds and if there is a new post it will fetch that post and uh, into my aggregator so I will have a different feeds coming from different sources into one web page what are environments variables and why are they important environment variables are dynamic values that affects the process or programs on a computer they can be used to control behavior software on the system so environment variable i am this question never been asked to me or we i don't see in our question bank that uh, anybody ever asked this one is environment variables uh, is uh, about the um, it's hard it's it's like when you're running a, a in Linux when you're running or you are configuring you have to set those different environments like what kind of variables it will run under so uh, I believe it will be uh, I've never uh, it has to be as per what you have done or what you are doing so this question is tricky so just get a generic term or if you have an example you can throw in there what does a pipe do in Linux this one does gets asked it was asked to me uh, we do ask this so pipe is very um, how I describe was that uh, that when you're searching you will and uh, search within a search so basically what I use it for is when I'm searching a larger file I take a uh, I take a string through grep you use the grep to find the strings that you will need and then within if you have all those strings you pipe it to another grep to find exactly what you're looking for a good example is processes like in the last video we talked about process IDs so you're looking for all the process IDs uh, or you're looking for a program and when you uh, find that program multiple names come up against that uh, string that you grabbed uh, you pipe it in a, into another grab based on what you have you're seeing on your screen to further uh, granular search how do you check the disk usage of a particular directory it's a du so basically you use the du command to check the disk usage 
explain the uses of grep oh grep command is right here okay grep is a command used for pattern searching in linux such as for the patterns specified in the command line in a given files so it does not have to be a file it can be anything that even if you go to command uh, terminal you can search within the all of the linux so you get you're basically a string you're searching a string uh, and then you can pipe it to another grep to search in that uh, what you, you already uh, your output is very powerful especially with log analysis you make a combination of grep pipe and uh, tail head something like that so basically you will grab a uh, string basically a string is a word uh, it could be a word or it could be a uh, sentence and you will get a result for example you get uh, on a log in a log uh, you get 200 lines and you want to see the last 10 lines you will pipe it to tail so it will give you last 10 lines what is the purpose of the etsy var and usr directories so etsy contains config configuration files variable is uh, var is for variable data and usr is user it it's it holds all user installed applications what is a zombie process in the context of linux have you ever uh go to your windows task manager and when you open it up you see that uh, you don't have internet explorer running on visually but it's still there or you have firefox being stuck there so that's a zombie process you don't see it on your screen uh, but it's still consuming cpu and ram and most of the time you just right click and then task it um, the same is in Linux if the process has uh, executed but it's still is just sitting there consuming some of the resources uh, however low they may be uh, it's still there so if you're looking uh, to free up some resources you can use the kill command against that process ID in on that zombie process ID and you can um, free up resources all right so these are the 10 questions for the intermediate uh, Linux series I hope it helps you uh, again uh, I strongly um, suggest that uh, whatever the question you read here you go up Google or you search it read up on it uh, these this line literally is for five or maybe ten second answers uh, these are not enough in interview you need to uh, speak just a little bit more than what this line is you need to make sure uh, that uh, give the uh, you don't give the impression that you just memorize them you need to tell them hey I really know this stuff for example you need to provide examples like I said hey I was running uh, my feed aggregator story so you need to uh, bring those up into your conversation and tell them hey this is how I use this command in real life it is okay to search them Google them this commands when you need to but in interview just give them an example say even though you had that time you did Google but yeah you uh, ran or uh, you were success successful in achieving that uh, result all right so hopefully uh, this helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one that is the advanced level uh, Linux interview questions